Hi. Okay, that was a very chaotic start to the vlog and in the viewfinder, I'm showing up as upside down. So I think that I think you'll stay up this way. So coincidentally, I'm actually beginning the vlog in the same place where I started it last time. So that's a bit of an interesting coincidence. Excuse the towel on my head. I find that it helps my curls. I don't know. I think it has to do with them being like scrunched up because something my hairdresser told me to do for my curls is to like scrunch them. Good morning. It is Sunday. I meant to start this vlog yesterday and it actually would have been a great Saturday to vlog, but I did not. I wanted to show you my new nails because I'm so happy with them. I will link my nail artist's Instagram down below so that you guys can follow her because she's great, great person and does a great job. I'm really happy with them. They're just like a purple color. And then this one, I don't know if you can see. I think you can. It has little butterflies on it. They're just so cute and I love them. I also got a pedicure this morning we are going to go on a picnic slash hike and I'm very very excited this morning I have been reading which I love to read I feel like that's a lot of why I haven't been uploading so much lately is that I've just been reading and that's made me like not want to edit but I do like making videos a lot and it's something that I want to prioritize so I'm going to get better about that I just think I will be making some more vlog content than I used to because that's what I felt very drawn to I like watching vlogs the most so the book that I have been reading which I started this yesterday and I've gotten really into it is called Wait For Me by Sarah Shepard. I don't know if you guys were Pretty Little Liars girlies as teenagers like I was but I read this author because I read all of those books when I was in middle school and I loved them but I feel like her writing because this is a fairly new book it was released in 2022 and her writing has just become so elevated and so good and I am about to like check out so many of her books from the library now like I already have a huge TV it has over a hundred books on it and it's just like growing constantly I actually have some like screenshots of book covers on my phone that I've yet to add this book is wonderful I'm almost done with it and I like it a lot because it's one of those books where I feel like I had an idea of what I thought was happening and there have just been constant twists and turns which is one of my favorite kinds of books because it keeps you very engaged so highly recommend and then I'll show you the other book that I have that I will be reading next I just have to go get it from the other room so you'll be alone for one second. <laughs> All right, so the book that I will be reading after that one is called The Summer of Broken Rules. And I think I learned about this from Bookstagram. I'll just read you the synopsis because a lot of times I just hear that like people like these books and so I check them out and I don't actually know what it's about. When Meredith Fox lose, lost her sister Claire 18 months ago, she shut everyone out. But this summer she's determined to join the world again. The annual family vacation to Martha's Vineyard seems like the perfect place to reconnect. Her entire extended family is gathering for a big summer wedding and although Meredith is dateless, after being unexpectedly dumped, she's excited to participate in the traditional Fox family game of Assassin that takes place during the week of the wedding festivities. Claire always loved the game and Meredith is determined to honor her legacy. But when Meredith forms an alliance with the cute groomsmen, she finds herself getting distracted. Meredith tries to focus on the game and win it for her sister, but she can't help falling for him. As the week progresses, she realizes she's not only at risk of losing the game, but also her heart. I think that this will be a good read and I will most likely start it tonight because I can't imagine that I wouldn't finish this book today because I'm really into it. So until we leave for the picnic, I am going to finish this and play Riverdale in the background. And I'm also trying to finish this smoothie that I made this morning.
week later. So today is Saturday. The last time I vlogged was last Sunday. It's okay. I didn't want to scrap the footage that I took on Sunday, but I didn't feel like it was enough for like a full video. So I decided that I'm just going to keep vlogging today and probably tomorrow. So we're going to make some coffee because that's how pretty much all of my days begin. I need some coffee. I don't feel like it actually wakes me up for the most part. I have a very high caffeine tolerance, but I do like the taste, which is the main reason I drink it. So I'm going to brew some espresso. I have the Nespresso Virtuo. I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I apologize for my milk. I have this horrendous Planet Oat oat milk, which is extra creamy. I didn't remember it being this bad, but I'm really not a fan. I don't care for it, but I bought two because there was no Oatly available. I like the full fat Oatly and they didn't even have the like light blue container. So I got this and I'm going to drink them. They're not too bad in smoothies, but I just like, I don't love it for coffee. I will not buy it again. I am hoping that the creamer will be better because I needed a new oat creamer and this one is coffee cake flavored, which I feel very hopeful about. I just feel like that sounds delicious to shake well. I got this yesterday because my friend from work yesterday asked me if I wanted to go to the store with her and I said yes and I got a bunch of fun things that I'd never seen before. I was really tempted to get the like impossible frozen meals because I've heard about those and they looked really good when I saw them on Instagram but they were like kind of pricey. I don't know they were like five to six dollars per bowl and in my experience those usually don't have a ton of food and aren't super good and I usually add my own things to them so I decided to pass. I might get them in the future and try them possibly for a video because I feel like that would be fun. All right, I have the espresso now and I'm going to add some of this horrible oat milk. It's just like not even the right shade. Like I like my coffee to be a very specific color and this I like, can't even achieve that. This is making me think Planet Oat just might be garbage. All right, here is the coffee. It just doesn't taste right. Honestly, no oat milk does it better than Oatly. It is now like 2.40 p.m. and I finished my book. We also made breakfast and that was really good. I didn't film it because I was charging my camera battery, but I will insert a picture. We're going to play some games over Discord with some people in a little while, but first I'm going to order my books to pick up, but I thought that it would be fun to pick them randomly just with like a number generator because I have over a hundred books on my TBR. I'm going to generate the first number, which is number 14. I don't, I didn't want to, to do this, but I kind of don't want to read this book anymore. I got It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, and I'm just like really not into what I've been hearing about her books. I know that she's like the, you know, the TikTok queen, but I'm just not a huge fan. I don't really want to read a book that like glamorizes abuse. That doesn't sound fun to me. The next book that I got is book 60. Can you see? I don't know if you can. Book 60 is Magnolia Parks, which is a book I heard about from Haley Pham's channel. But honestly, I think I've tried to request this one before and the library didn't have it. So I will check again and I'll let you know. All right, so they do have it. The copy is in use but I will place a hold so I'll just be able to get it whenever it's ready. The next book is book 21 and this one is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, which I've ha heard pretty good things about. So I will request that one. Hopefully it's available because I know that that one was pretty popular for a while. Okay, great. So this one is available. I'm guessing I'll be able to pick it up tomorrow. Is book 62. This book is The Wrong Kind of Weird by James Ramos. It is also available at my preferred location. 55 is Ophelia After All by Raquel Marie. That one I've also heard good things about. Since I have that other book that's going to be able to be picked up, I don't know when, but I am the next person to get it and they have this book as well. I think that those are going to be all the books that I request. This was fun. I'm a little bit sad that I don't have anything to read at the moment. I do have some books that I own that I have been meaning to get to, so maybe 
maybe I will read one of those today. I think I'm going to have a snack because I'm hungry. So maybe we'll try the like smoothie mix that I've been meaning to try because I got this interesting blend that I saw at the grocery store yesterday. I think I might make that and then I'll let you know what my thoughts are. Plus I can show you how I make my smoothies because I make them almost every day and I feel like the way that I've been making them has really improved. Hi, okay. So now I'm ready to show you. I buy like lots of different blends, but I've never bought this one specifically and it's called a boosted blend, which is supposedly able to energize you because it has matcha cubes. So I'm very excited to try it. It looks really good. I mean, it just looks like normal smoothie except for the like matcha, which looks just really, really dark green. Since other than the matcha, there isn't actually a green in the smoothie. And this is how I like to get my greens in. Just using a big handful. This spinach is getting a little bit damp. So it's like, I feel like it's like smoothie or other cooked spinach type spinach. I'm going to add some oat milk. This helps it just get really well blended. It's funny because I was feeling very frustrated with this blender for a while because of how I was making my smoothies. It wasn't getting it all blended up. And I know that some people with like a Vitamix or whatever can just put everything in together, but I find that this works really, really well. And it allows me to get the greens just completely smooth because I don't like having like chunks of spinach in my smoothies. I'd say it takes like 20 to 30 seconds to get properly blended. I'm so excited to try this. It's kind of stuck together just because it was frozen and then it melted a bit and then it refroze, which always causes problems. <laughs> All right, we have a straw. I just got these metal ones in a package of like cups, lids and straws from Amazon. That's what I normally take my smoothies in to work because these are like a good to go food. This is really good. I feel like I can't taste the matcha a ton, but it did make the color really nice. because my uterus hurts and I really cannot be bothered to get up and grab my camera. So I just am going to be ending the vlog on my phone. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. I know that it was pretty random. I am determined to finally clean out my closet this week, which I'm going to film for y'all because the last time I filmed a closet clean out, it did pretty well and I had fun making it. So that will be something that I'm determined to make happen this week. And otherwise, I will see you in a future video. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great day and bye.